In a previous video, we tested how long our nickel, gold, and epoxy plated magnets would last being submerged in salt water. We watched for weeks as they slowly started to corrode. Now, we'll put our corrosion resistant plastic and thermoplastic rubber coatings to the test. We'll test salt water, a vinegar solution, and a bleach cleaning solution. For the salt water, we measured the salt to be about 40 parts per thousand, which is the salt content of the Red Sea, the saltiest sea in the world. Next, we made up a 1 to 10 bleach cleaning solution, which is a common ratio for household and commercial cleaning. And last, we'll test a 1 to 1 vinegar solution. We tout our plastic coating to be completely corrosion proof, but how will it hold up to a more caustic solution? Our thermoplastic rubber coating is corrosion resistant, but how much so? Five months later and we have some results. Both the plastic and thermoplastic held up well in the salt water and bleach solutions. We exposed the inner magnet of each and found no signs of corrosion. The plastic coating also did just fine in the vinegar solution, so we can confirm that the plastic coating is indeed corrosion proof. However, the thermoplastic didn't do so well in the vinegar solution. It was the only sample that failed, and it failed hard. The coating ballooned and it was more brittle. The vinegar penetrated through the coating and corroded the nickel plated magnet on the inside. The vinegar ate away most of the top nickel layer, exposing the copper underneath. In some spots, it caused all three layers of plating, the nickel, copper, and nickel, to completely corrode, exposing the raw material. The raw material is nearly two thirds iron, so obviously it started to corrode as well. We hope this video gives you some insight when choosing which coating to use. Plastic coated magnets are still our number one suggestion for underwater use, like in aquariums or boats, or if the magnets will be exposed to cleaning solutions. The thermoplastic coating could be used in some of these applications, but it wouldn't be our first choice. You can see our whole line of plastic and thermoplastic rubber coated magnets at kjmagnetics.com.